Hey, welcome to Low Language Outfitters YouTube channel. I'm Alan. So today we are taking a look at Springfield's St. Victor in 308 caliber. So this is a pistol. It is not a rifle, even though it's shooting a rifle caliber. You guys know how this works, right? We got a barrel on this that's not 16 inches long and we don't have a stock. We have a brace. Now, we're not going to go into all the stuff about braces and stocks and why they're different and all this. But because this has a brace and not a stock, it is not a short barrel rifle. It is, in fact, a pistol by legal definition. Performance-wise, it's a short barrel rifle, right? You got a full rifle caliber in a what is legally defined as a pistol. So we recently got these in and we thought, you know, these are, looks look kind of interesting. Let's take a look at it. It's an AR pattern. <clears throat> Most of you that watch this are familiar with AR pattern guns, okay? And it's just a standard AR pattern. Control-wise, you got normal AR controls. You got carry handle or a charging handle up here. On this side of the gun, you got magazine release there. If we turn it around, Safety here, perfectly placed for a right-handed shooter, bolt release up here, and uh, that's about it in terms of active controls that you're going to use. Like most AR pattern weapons, it has the forward assist on it. The brace it has is the SB Tactical SBA3, so it's adjustable. That's the shortest, and then it'll go all the way it's tight, goes all the way out to there, and then you got some intermediate positions. So it gives you plenty of length to be able to do things. Being a brace, it's got the split piece on the back and the Velcro, so you can kind of anchor it down. Uh, rail up on top, Picatinny rail spec up on top over the receiver. And it extends over, the, the Picatinny rail comes out just a little further than just the base receiver, it comes out onto the front of the handguard here. And you got a short Picatinny rail section up front if you want to put an iron sight up there. Barrel is completely free floated. This forend is an M-Lock compatible forend, so any M-Lock uh, accessory will go on there. We got a short hand stop right there, so you don't get up here too close to the muzzle. The muzzle itself does not have a flash hider, it has a blast diverter, and it's a very effective blast diverter. The barrel is 10.3 inches. Now, most of you, if you're familiar with 308, metric designation 7.62 by 51. You know that cartridge was originally designed to work in 20, 22 inch barrel rifles, that sort of range. So this is pretty short for that cartridge. But we'll talk a little more about that in just a minute. Feature wise, it also has a Bravo Company pistol grip, your gunfighter grip, so you got a compartment in the bottom. You can put batteries or something in there if you're running sort of some sort of optic. We put, just to shoot it so we get a, an idea what it felt like, we just put a Holosun optic up on top of it. We just grabbed that off the floor and put it on there and took it out and tried it out. The gun comes with a soft case, Springfield standard soft case. It comes with most of their stuff in their AR pattern weapons. And it comes with one Magpul 20 round PMAG. So Magpul PMAGs are fully compatible with this platform. And they work really well, just like, as you're familiar with Magpul stuff, goes right in. Very easy to operate. Interesting gun. Very interesting gun. A lot of fun. It is high fun factor shooting this thing. Uh, we discovered uh, when we went out, well, we went outside to shoot this, and first of all, it was pouring down rain. So one thing you're going to notice when you look at the video part of, of me shooting it is my glasses are up on my hat. They're not down on my eyes. And the reason they're not down on my eyes is because they were soaked with rain and I couldn't see through them. So I had to move them up there so I could see what I was doing. We just took the Holosun, didn't do any adjustments on it, just put it on, tightened it down on the rail. It was dead on the money. Now we didn't shoot this thing at enormous range, but we shot at some small stuff on the backstop, cleared it all with no trouble. It was dead on right from the get-go. So pretty interesting. I, the... Uh, Shooting this thing is kind of is kind of interesting. Again, it's a 10.3 inch 308 caliber barrel, so it's loud. You don't want to shoot this thing without ear protection. It is loud. When we came back in, uh, one of the folks in the building said they could hear it very clearly inside the building, 
and we're easily 100 yards away from the building when we were shooting it. So it's going to be pretty loud. One thing that I might mention is, it, which contributed to them hearing it too, is where we were shooting, the sound hits the backstop, comes off the backstop, and comes back towards the building. So I'm sure that probably was a factor there. Now, this blast diverter, it's a two-piece blast diverter. I'm going to turn, this is, gun's empty and safe. I'm going to turn toward the camera for just a minute. If you can see, it's a two-piece blast diverter. Blast diverter. So what it does is for the shooter, and the cameraman mentioned it too, and then he shot it a little bit while I watched, we both noticed the same thing. If you're staying close, you can feel a little of concussion off the round, but the diverter is designed to do exactly what its name says. It diverts. It pushes the, the report forward away from the gun. The diverter on this does something else. Because this thing is so short, and it's a direct gas impingement AR, it's not piston driven. So because it's so short, all this is calibrated, the gas port hole, the diverter, all it's calibrated to make sure the gun runs reliably. We put about 40 rounds through it, not a huge amount, but we didn't have any trouble. Just military spec ball ammo. Didn't have any trouble with it. Worked just fine. Uh, the Victor series, which is what this is, has some upgraded components compared to the standard Saint type patterns. And one of the components it has that's upgraded is the trigger. It's nickel boron coated, which the rest of the Saint series ARs are, but this trigger is flat faced. So it's a pretty good trigger. Feels pretty good. We didn't have any trouble using it at all. Uh, shooting impressions. Now, recoil is pretty mild, actually. I didn't think it was bad at all. Uh, handles recoil very well. The blast diverter doesn't, doesn't increase recoil. This is an AR system, right? So you guys know how this works. It's a very straight line, flat system. Recoil doesn't have a lot of leverage on you. It pretty much runs straight back. You got the buffer back in here. And again, this thing is tuned. The buffer, the blast diverter, the gas port, everything is tuned to work with a cartridge in the power level of 308. Springfield did an excellent job of that because it works fine. Recoil, very manageable. We didn't try to shoot real fast, uh, partly because it was pouring down rain. So we wanted to get done and get back in the building. But it actually shoots very comfortably. I wouldn't be afraid to, especially with uh, uh, getting a good grip on I wouldn't be afraid to shoot it fast if you had to. Uh, we're not going to take it apart. It's an AR. It's an AR like any other AR out there. And there's tons of videos and explanations on how to take ARs apart. As I mentioned, it's a direct gas impingement AR. So it comes apart with exactly the same types of components that any other AR in another caliber comes apart. The big thing about this thing is just the fact that that caliber is cham chambered in. You know, most everybody puts these things in, some folks put them in 9mm, 5.56 are very common. 308 is a little unusual in something like this. Do you lose performance out of it? Well, yes and no. Are you going to lose velocity com for compared to a 22-inch barrel? Absolutely you are. No way around it, okay? You're going to lose it. Uh, somebody did a, a, a test out there where they took a 308 barrel and they started reducing it an inch at a time, and they were checking velocity loss. And they came up with something in the vicinity of about 22 to 23 feet per second per inch lost. So... This is a 10.3 inch barrel, so you figure if you went from a 20 inch barrel to this, you're losing eh, a couple hundred feet per second plus, roughly. Military ball out of a 22 inch barrel or a 20 inch barrel runs around 2650 feet per second, somewhere in that ballpark. So you're still cranking 2400 or so, even out of this short barrel. Springfield says, and if you do the math, they're accurate, 308 is out of this barrel length, is still delivering twice, twice the energy of 5.56 or 223 out of a comparable barrel length. So you're losing some performance, yeah, but you're not losing a huge amount of performance. You still got quite a bit of effectiveness there. Uh, hugely fun to shoot. We enjoyed it. Uh, not badly priced. I think we've got these for 1289. That's not bad considering what you got here. Uh, got a lot of good features on it. You're still going to have to put some kind of sights on it. It doesn't come with a sight. Uh, we slapped the Hall of Sun up there. We've got those for about 310 bucks, And there are other sight options that would work fine. I uh, didn't see any issue with recoil off of this. Again, recoil was pretty mild. It wasn't really bad. And we didn't see any issues with recoil with regard to the sight. Uh, 
it got wet. Everything got wet because it was pouring down rain. But other than that, it really wasn't a big deal. Pretty neat little gun. We had a lot of fun shooting it. Uh, you know, some things we talk about, some things have a little more fun factor than other when you're taking, others when you're taking them out and you're, you're doing this kind of thing with them. We're just going to shoot it, talk about it a little bit. Pretty high fun factor here. So if you're thinking you want something that's pretty cool, this might be worth a look for you. Okay? So, St. Victor, 308 pistol. Really cool. Highly recommend it. So that's all we've got for right now on this particular review. So pay us a visit. We're, uh, we're not operating by appointment anymore. You can just come to the door. We're limiting people in the store numbers. So you might have to wait a minute or two, but it's been pretty flowing pretty smoothly, actually. So come pay us a visit. Uh, check us out. Facebook, Twitter. Uh, always check our website out. And uh, until next time, I'm Alan for Old English Outfitters. Thanks for watching.